we've got all the... Oh, I miss the good old days when it used to just be about making the toys and answering the letters. Now it's North Pole online service and email, faxes, a cell phone on my sleigh, not to mention all the flack I got after sending out those Microsoft Windows 95 things a couple of years ago. I'll tell you, I'm getting too old for this. All right, cut the chatter, boys. Uh, We're about on. All quiet. Five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls from all over the world, and welcome again to the Santa Hotline on WTOY up here at the North Pole. WTOY, the North Pole. Now, there's not much time left to help Santa let you help with those gift giving ideas or those tough Kringle questions or take your request. So the phone lines are open here at 1 800 4 S Claus. And yours truly, Santa Claus, is here to take your calls. And we have our first caller. We go first to. Monica in Washington, D.C. What can I help you with, Monica? Hello, Santa. Hello. Uh, I'm trying to find the perfect gift for a very powerful and influential man I've been working for. What do you think of a tie? Well, that depends, Monica. Are you trying to send him some sort of signal? Actually, I'm trying to get him to send me one by wearing it. Well, then I think it's a fine choice. Now, our uh, tie makers up here in the North Pole have... Oh, please, come sit down. We'll wait for you. Get front row seats, and they just come in a little bit late. How are you doing? Where are you all from? A new car? Do you really? Is that what happened to the car breakdown? Well, we'll see what we can do. Have you been naughty or nice? Because I've got your names right here. First of all, showing up late to the show, that's a bit naughty, isn't it? Okay, then. Now, anyway, back to Monica. We have some wonderful tie makers up here at the North Pole, and I think you'll find a terrific selection. Now, I'm a little bit partial myself to the Rush Limbaugh collection. I don't know. Well, we have mixed emotions there, don't we? But let's go back to the phones and Francis in Hoboken, New Jersey. Hello, Francis. Yo, Santa, what's happening? What's on your mind, Francis? If well, is. Santa, I was wondering. I know you and the elves make the toys and all, but you know, all that toy making has got to get kind of boring, right? I was wanting to know if the elves had some kind of hobby or something that they do when they really want to cut loose. As a matter of fact, Francis, they do. I'll tell you what, let's go over to Elf Central and see if we can hear, let you hear for yourself. Well.
they great? They're wonderful. Sometimes we catch them in the middle of a rehearsal or getting ready for their new CD, and sometimes they just get together in a quartet. Golly, Santa, that's cool. How many elves does it take to make a quartet? You really are from New Jersey, aren't you, Francis? Well, in case you've never heard a quartet, I'll tell you what, what's your favorite Christmas ditty? I don't know, I really don't have one. What I really like is hard rock. Well, it's kind of hard to rock a Christmas song, but well, let's see what they can do. Bum, 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 bum. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Oh, jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing the bushes of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In the frosty air. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Hey, jingle bell time is a swell time to go, to go gliding in a one-horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in a jingle and beat, that's a jingle bell rock. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Hey, jingle bell time is a swell time to go riding in a one-horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. Mix and mingle in a jingle and beat, cause that's a jingle bell rock. Jingle Bell Rock! Jingle Bell Rock! Hey, Mark! Yeah? What is it? Uh, what do you think we should do with all these, uh, Sammy Sosa commemorative 67th home run baseballs? Junior, just how many of these have you made? Oh, about 10,000. The guys have been working on them since September. They're doing really good work. They even put a nice 67 on there. Junior. Hand done. Junior. Yeah? Sammy only hit 66 home runs. Uh-oh. <laughs> you think the big guy will be angry? Oh, send him to Chicago anyway. Cub fans are always waiting till next year. Oh, oh, and Junior. Junior, while you're at it, we're gonna have to quadruple our production on those Dick Vermeil and Georgia Frontier voodoo dolls. Gotcha. All of a sudden, the orders are just pouring in. Gotcha, boss. Coffee break. I just got a great idea for some stocking stuffers. <laughs> This time. 
We now have on the line little nine-year-old Timmy calling from Fresno, California. Hello, Timmy, and Merry Christmas. Golly, Santa. Merry Christmas to you. I can't believe it's really you on the phone. My mom had me down at Dillard's just this afternoon, and I was sitting on your lap telling you what I wanted for Christmas. Boy, how do you get back and forth through the North Pole so fast? Like in a jet or something? Well, you got me there, Timmy. But uh, actually, I do want to make it clear that that was me that you saw at Dillard's this afternoon. But the truth is, well, there's a Santa at Famous Bar and one at Union Station, and there's Santas all over the place this time of year. You see, there are so many children like you and really only one Santa Claus that I have to get a few little helpers, you know? But surely you've learned about them in school, haven't you? Them in school? What do you mean? Well, if you haven't learned about them yet, it won't be long before you learn about my subordinate clauses. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh? <laughs> and this time of year can be rough on them, too. Now, maybe you'd care to see what it's like being one. Through the magic of radio, let's check in on some of those intrepid Santas who are out there manning the foxholes, facing the barbed wire, dodging shot and shell. And that's just at FAO Schwartz. <laughs> yes, Timmy, these are the proud warriors of Christmas who don't mind looking children in the face and saying, you'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> Work is, done. Work is done, wasn't fun, wasn't fun. Christmas is near. Oy vey, toy departments get us big jets sent from Santa's or us. If you're large, it's a living at Christmas. Drag the black boots and the red suits, go downtown on a bus, and get ready, cause all day we'll hear, we will hear, little kids, little kids, rotten kids, this Christmas we're gonna see them, they line up and as each time, says he'd lie all like all kinds of stuff Christmas Day Christmas Day hear the moms yell smell that kids smell as they sit on my lap this is part of what's turned into Christmas grimy fingered kids who linger just to yank on my beard and the line has no end we can see we can see little kids lots of kids little kids awful kids their christmas wine isn't witty here they come and next one sings each one sings give me things lots of things oh shit was past Christmas Day, Christmas Day. Gifts and laughter at Christmas And the story of God's glory Come to earth as a child Now we know what makes Christmas so sweet Oh, so sweet Little kids Christmas time is so precious. Little angels hear them sing, hear them sing as 
as they bring, they all bring joy on each new Christmas day. Christmas day, joy to you on Christmas day. Thanks. <laughs> well, we are expanded sound. It's not funny, lady. <laughs> I want to introduce you to the, to the group briefly. Over on my left, singing the high part, is yeah. Santa. Let's hear it for Woo! Santa. Santa. Yeah. Back here, the leader of the pack, Santa. Yeah. I sing the hard part. My name's Santa. Santa. Oh yeah, over here singing the bass part. Santa. Yo ho! Busy season. Something you need to know about Santa. Santa, Santa is originally from Buffalo. The rest of us are from normal parents. <laughs> Well, we've been working the malls. We have. Giving those kids all of their chances to tell Santa what they want. Yep. Well, we decided it's time for Santa to tell the kids what they're going to get. Oh, I just got a letter from old St. Nick way off in Christmas land. And he says that the toys for good girls and boys are being made as planned. There's a trough for little Billy and a dolly for mommy dear. But you ain't getting diddly squat because you really screwed up this year. This year. Oh, the winter fields are white with snow and the lights are shining bright. And the wee little heads tucked up in bed dream of sugar plums this night. You may dream of big red apples and candy cane so near. But you ain't getting diddly squat because you really screwed up this year. When your mother asked you to wash the dishes, you said no, 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 and you would not pick up your socks. So it's Casera, dog face. Ho, ho, ho. Well, you know that Santa's watching you, and he keeps a great big list, big list. But when I tell him the things you do, he really will be. Angry. So when you try to sit up on his knee, he'll knock you on your ear. Cause you ain't getting diddly squat, cause you really screwed up this year. No, you ain't getting diddly squat. Screwed up this year. You really screwed up this year. What's up? What are you doing? What's David said we could only do yeah. two, but I'm doing three. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Do 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 do, 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 do. The 
restroom door said gentlemen so i just walked inside i took a step and realized i've been taken for a ride i heard high voices turned and found the place was occupied by two nuns three old ladies and a nurse what could be worse than two nuns three old ladies and a nurse the restroom door said, gentlemen, it must have been a gag. As soon as I walked in there, I ran into some old hag. She sprayed me with a can of mace and struck me with her bag. I could tell this just wouldn't be my day. What can I say? It just wasn't turning out to be my day. The restroom door said, gentlemen, and I would like to find the crummy little creep who had the nerve to switch the sign cause i got two black eyes and one high heel off my behind now i can't sit with comfort and joy boy oh boy no i'll never sit with comfort Listen up, not many days left. We've got a schedule that's really pretty tight. Santa's getting tense, and you know how he gets. So, here's the deal. New production orders. Perkins! Yes, sir! Barbie doll assembly. Jokes! Yes, sir! Matchbox cars and trucks. All right. Oh, Johnson! Yes, sir! Nintendo 64 hey, and PlayStation. Hey. Expanded sound. You, sir. You. you. Easy bake ovens. Vegematics. Bread machines. Cuisinarts. Blenders. Bread makers. Bread boards. Place settings. Court of the Cloud holders. And the amazing Ginsu knives. All right. Go, go. Woo. Yeah. All right. Hey, boss. Yes? I got a great idea for a new Christmas toy. Yeah, describe it. Well, you know those furry little trolls we've been making, those furby things? Oh, yeah, they're real hot this year, almost human. You guys have done a real good job with that. I can make it even better. I think we ought to go ahead and put them in a box and put a hypodermic needle in there with them so the new owners can go ahead and give them the vaccinations for measles and flu and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so they don't get sick, I guess. Well, well... What do you call this deluxe edition? I want to call it a Furby with a syringe on top. <laughs> Out of my sight! Well, now back to the phones on WTOY. WTOY, the North Pole. Does anybody know those guys? <laughs> anyway, we're got, we have on the phone now Roger calling from Chicago. Hello, Roger. How are things down in Chi-Town? <laughs> Pretty good. How are you tonight? I'm fine, Roger. How can we be of service? Well, do you have any new and different toys coming out this year? I always like the stuff that's a little off the wall. Well, let me think here. Oh, yes, we do have one that I think you'd like. Now it's a, uh, it's a little doll, and it doesn't talk, and it doesn't laugh, and it doesn't move. It doesn't really do anything. It just sits in a big mason jar. You see, it sits there in a mason jar on a shelf with a big grin on its face. Really? Yes. What do you call it? We call it Pickle Me Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> That's really dumb. Hey, are the elves coming out with a new CD this year? Now that would be a great gift. I really like the one they did last year, especially those elf songs, like, what's it all about, Elfie? And have your elf a merry little Christmas. But my favorite of all was, I'm gonna sit right down and write my elf a letter. Anyway, I really need a new good love song. Do they have anything like that in the works? Well, I don't know, Roger, let's find out. Bum, 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 bum,
cast me in a spell. That old black magic that you weave so well. Those icy fingers up and down my spine. The same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine. The same old tingle that I feel inside. And then that elevator starts its ride. And down and down I go, round and round I go, like a leaf that's caught in a tide. I should stay away, but what can I do? I hear your name, and I'm a flame, a flame with such a burning desire that only your kiss, your kiss can put out the fire. Tundra salad. Sir. Hey, what about mine? Uh, what'd you order? I had a McHappy meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how about me? Did you forget Mrs. Claus? Oh, no, we'd never forget you, Mrs. Claus. Uh, what'd you order? I had the Big Mac. Oh, yeah.
Wonderful. And now we have a cell phone call from Don in L.A., Los Angeles. Hello, Don. How are things on the West Coast? Well, Santa, my girlfriend and I are going to have an L.A. kind of Christmas. What exactly is that? My people call her people and we do gifts. Oh, I see. But I know she's listening tonight, and I'd love it if the elves could sing her favorite Christmas song. Well, I'm sure they'd love to, Don. What is it? Oh, come on, Santa. The most famous Christmas song of them all, White Christmas. Oh, that is a good one. Let me see if they know that. The sun is shining, the grass is green, the orange and palm trees sway. There's never been such a day. sing just like you guys. Well, you know, it's not just toys. It's not just singing. The elves have to have the spirit of Christmas. Oh, I've got that, boy. I've got it all over. They've got to have that attitude of the Yuletide, and, yeah. and you must demonstrate all that. Yeah, you got to get with the program yourself. That's it. Yeah, I can do that, too. <laughs> I'm sure I got the funny clothes and everything. Yeah, it's not that <laughs> You gotta pass some tests to be an elf. You know, there's the talent test, there's the toy making test, yeah, I get you know. Those. And then you have to write a dissertation. No, you I have to give an oral. <laughs> you, you have to do an oral. You have to stand up and show everybody that you know, you know what makes Christmas, what Christmas is all about. You gotta do that. I gotta do that. Well, I, you know, I can do that. Oh, yeah? yeah, I can do it. Now, there's not a swimsuit competition, is there? I think there's yeah, a swimsuit competition. Oh, okay. Competition. Well, I don't know about that, but I can do the oral. And I'll tell you what, I'll prove it to everybody, I'll prove it to all of you elves, and I'll prove it to everybody that I've got the spirit of Christmas because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recite the most famous Christmas poem of them all. And it gives you, in the Yuletide spirit, 
And I'll just prove to you that I have it. I have it deep in my heart where it should go. Okay. And so, if you don't mind, is, could I use that as my oral? Don't mess it up. No, no, heck no. <laughs> Get on with it. <clears throat> is this thing on? Twas the... Gotta get down to elf size. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. <laughs> the, the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in my kerchief and I in her cap had... <laughs> had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, a clatter was, I, 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 wanted, I wanted to see where the clatter was at. I sprang out of bed and stepped on the cat. <laughs> Away to the window, I flew like a flasher. Toward... That's flash, sorry, flash. Tore open the shutters and threw up. <clears throat> The sash. Did y'all ever throw up a sash before? Anybody throw up? There was that time in college for me. I don't know. Anybody want to? When what with my wandering eyes did I see but a sleigh and some reindeer and Santa Claus? E. <laughs> Rhymes with. More rapid than, than a, more faster than a speeding bullet. His Corvairs, they came, and he screamed, and he shouted, and called them a name. <laughs> on Dasher, on Dancer, on... On Dasher, on Dancer, on... On... On Dasher, on Dancer, on... It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, and the future was stirring, not even a mouse. He screamed, and he shouted, and called them a name. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Snoopy, on Vixen, on... Lefty on Dopey on Reagan and Nixon. <laughs> From the top of the roof to the top of the wall, my cat was pinned under my new bowling ball. <laughs> you know, I have to admit, I'm making some parts of this up. I don't remember this quite like a... Down the chimney, Santa Claus comes. It's a wonder he didn't burn off his buns. His, his clothes were all covered with ashes and soot. And he kicked the cat across the room with his shiny black butt. Problems with soot. Y'all think you can do any better up there? Maybe I don't want to be an elf after all anyway. Doing the very best I can. <clears throat> his eyes, how they tinkled, his pimples, how merry. His... <laughs> his cheeks were like roses, his nose quite contrary. <laughs> he was chubby and plump and as fat as a hog. <laughs> And I laughed when I saw him. Hot, hot, hot diggity dog. <laughs> he, he was putting his presents down under the tree with one if, <clears throat> with one if by land and two if by <laughs> sea. Then laying his nose to his finger aside, I happened to notice the cat had just died. <laughs> okay. Up the, 
Up the chimney he went, and into his sleigh, and then with the whistle, whoosh, they all flew away. But, but, I heard him exclaim, I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. With, with justice for all and to all a good night. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you. I think there's a few things you got to work on. Now listen, you got to be able to perform B and L. If you go off the side, we're going to sing a we're going to sing a Let's song talk. here. I have a solo in this song, and I want you to watch the way I perform. Okay? Come on. Let's take the ride. Let's take the ride. Let's take the ride. Let's take the ride. Just hear the sleigh bells tolling, 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 tolling. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. A ride with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you home. home, home. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. With you, with you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go, let's go, let's look at the show, let's go. We're riding in a wonderland of snow. It's so, it's so. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand, it's grand. just hold your hand. We're gliding along with a song of a wintry fairyland. Things are the things you remember all through our lives. the phones. And we have E.B. on a cell phone. Hi, E.B. You're on the air with Santa. <laughs> Hi, Santa. Great to finally get through. I'm a long-time listener, but a first-time caller. I see. Well, welcome to the show. By the way, what does E.B. stand for? Easter Bunny. Yeah, right. Well, what's on your mind, E.B.? Santa, uh, I just, um, I wanted to say that I believe in you. Well, that's really beautiful, E.B. I'm getting kind of misty. I believe in you, too. Uh, by the way, did you call on your own, or did someone egg you on? <laughs> that was really dreadful, Santa. I can see why you visit folks in the dead of night when there's not a creature stirring. <laughs> Hey, say, say, E.B., what do you get when you pour boiling water down a rabbit hole? <laughs> what? 
hot cross bunnies. <laughs> I still believe in you, Santa, but you're making it very Listen, difficult. This is not the Easter Bunny. Who is this, really? Uh-huh, that's what I thought. Well, we're getting some wonderful calls tonight, aren't we? Let's now go to St. Louis and Jim. Hello, Jim. Santa, thank you for taking my call. How are you? We've established that, Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, anyway, I used to have a pretty good radio call-in show right here in St. Louis, but now, every Christmas season, I lose most of my audience to your show. Now, I realize WTOY has three million clear channel red hot watts, but there must be a better reason why your show is so popular. I mean, with all the toy making and toy delivering and letter answering you do every year, what on earth got you into the radio talk show business anyway? Well, that's a good question, Jim. And by the way, let me say that I remember you when you were just a baby bumper. <laughs> but, um, you know, I actually, uh, the answer to that question is kind of ironic because it was me that called you a couple of years ago and I was sort of complaining about the old routine. All I did was make toys week in, week out. You know, every day just toys, toys, toys. And, and I called you and complained about that and you had a little suggestion for me. I'll never forget what it was. Do you remember? Uh, get a hobby? That was it exactly. And the rest, as they say, is history. I mean, I've got this radio talk show, and, and uh, you know, and it really kind of takes, relieves the stress of the day, although really making toys is truly my bag. <laughs> my bag is making Well, gosh, Santa, have a heart. I mean, you're cleaning up in my time slot. My audience is down. Advertising revenue is drying up. Karen Carroll is upset. How am I going to support my shortwave radio and my boat? Stop whining, Jim. <laughs> I guess you just can't fix stupid. Boys, boys, listen up. Mrs. Claus is coming right here to the shop. I want you all on your best behavior. No messing around. I'm gonna go get Santa real quick. You wait here. Yeah, you're in best shape, all right? Everybody, he's be right on top of the ball. He's coming. I'm gonna go get Santa. Mrs. Claus is coming. She's coming to the shop. So be real good. I'm gonna go get Santa. If you don't think I know reindeer... Well, of course you know reindeer. I'm just not sure you know reindeer. Of course I know reindeer. Even the reindeer know reindeer. But perhaps if you look outside, you can see the rain. I don't have to look outside to see reindeer. <laughs> I see them every time I pull my sleigh, and it's not a very good view of them, I can tell you that. Uh, of course you see reindeer. I'm just not sure right now you can see reindeer. I can see reindeer anytime I want. Not now. Not now. Uh, you, there are no reindeer, only reindeer. Oh. <laughs> you know, well, they're probably out flying around, you know. They need their exercise. <laughs> of course, except uh, Dancer. She's pretty nimble for an old hoofer. <laughs> Heifer. Oh, yeah, she was when she was younger. Yes, yeah, she was. Uh, you know, when, when they run off by themselves, how do you know they'll come back? Oh, they always do, honey. They're very, very loyal. Loyal? Uh, what makes them loyal? Certainly not the way you treat them. Well, probably because they've been raised in a stable environment. <laughs> You're awful, dear. Oh, let's go.
And we'd also like to thank our sponsor for tonight's broadcast. So when you think about leaving a cookie or two and a glass of milk for Santa, don't forget to leave our fearless flyers their favorite food too, Purina Reindeer Chow. Reindeer Chow has all the balanced nutrition that any reindeer could want with all the vitamins and minerals he needs, plus lots of mossy vegetation from the frozen Arctic tundra, just like he's used to back home. <laughs> and there's also a little grain alcohol to keep Rudolph's nose a bright red. And a bit of barley and hops <laughs> for those reindeer who have a Clydesdale as a grandparent. So pick up some Purina reindeer chow today at your favorite A and Pooh feed store. And remember to tell them Blitzen sent ya. Tune in next year for another session of the radio station heard round the world. Radio station WTOY North Pole. WTOY the North Pole. Well, how about that WTOY quartet? You'll enjoy these four guys from America's heartland who offer a unique collection of music that includes movie greats, barbershop classics, big band songs, ragtime tunes, gospel contemporary Christian pieces, and a lot, lot more. We call them the WTOY Quartet. But back in Kansas City and here in the St. Louis area, they are the 1994 Central States District Quartet Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, 12th Street Rag! I feel the sun coming on I'm warning ya, it's a victorious, happy and glorious new, new strain I feel the sun coming on Children out after the rain. You'll hear a tuneful story ringing through your love and glory. Hallelujah! And now, now that my troubles are gone, let those heavenly drums go on drumming. Cause I feel a song coming on. I feel a song. Thank you. Christmas is certainly a time for all of us to celebrate the birth of the child Jesus. It's also a time when many of us reflect upon our relationships with our friends, our families, and our loved ones. But it's also a time for many of us to reflect upon our spiritual relationships. This next song illustrates one man's struggle for repair of his walk with God.
him all to boy to take my sins away. Oh, what must I do to be holy like you, little altar boy? Oh, let me Send a prayer above. Help me rejoice and fill that prayer with love. I know my life has been all. Thank you very much. This next song is a, is a song that I had the privilege of singing in a contemporary Christian rock concert a while back. And um, John was there, and John does a lot of the arranging for the quartet. In fact, he's arranged nine of the 15 songs on our uh, latest recording, which, in case you're still looking for gift ideas, is for sale out in the lobby. But yeah. anyway, uh, the... Um, that was, uh, was that subtle enough? Was subtle. They told me to be subtle, so <laughs> anyway. Uh, this, actually, this song, though, was, uh, it, was a, it was a rock concert, and there was drums and synthesizers and electric guitars and a big band and everything, and yeah, he was there, all right. And uh, anyway, he heard this song, and he said, you know, that'd be a good barbershop song. <laughs> and uh, we couldn't hardly believe it, given the fact that it was really a rock concert song. But anyway, he put his thoughts on paper, and what we have for you now to close out our portion of the show is a contemporary Christian piece called Celebrate the Child. Celebrate, let us celebrate, let us celebrate, let us celebrate, let us celebrate the child who is the light. Now the darkness is over, no more wandering in the night. Celebrate the child who is the light. You know this is no fable. No fable. God had in manhood became one. You see, uh, he's more than and so we live to God the Son. Celebrate the child who is alive. We know now the darkness is over. It's over. No more wandering in the night. Let us celebrate the child who is alive. Celebrate. 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 Firstborn of creation.
child who is alive. We know now the darkness is over. It's over, no more wandering in the night. Let us celebrate the child who is alive. Celebrate is the light. Now the darkness is over. No more wandering in the night. Celebrate the child who is the light. Celebrate the child who is the light. Celebrate the child who is the light. The Ladies and gentlemen, the Ambassadors of Harmony are very pleased, extremely proud to present for your featured entertainment this evening, the 1993 International Champions, everybody's favorite, the Gas House Gang. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I told all my troubles goodbye, 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 goodbye to each tear and each sigh, every sigh for this, this world where I roam cannot be my home, so I'm bound for a land up in the sky. I walk and I talk with my Lord and I feast every day on his word. Heaven is near, you know what I can say here, so it's goodbye, world, goodbye. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, cause I won't I have to leave here, here alone. Here alone. But morning when I when hear that I last hear trumpet that sound, last trumpet sound you know my feet won't stay on the ground. I'm gonna rise with a shout, gonna fly. I'm gonna ride with my Lord through the sky. Heaven is near, you know and I can't say here, so it's goodbye, world, goodbye. The way I won't have the blues anymore. Thank you all very, very much. That, of course, was the tender Christmas ballad, Goodbye World, Goodbye. <laughs> We're going to follow that now, actually, with some songs that are indeed Christmas songs. Now, you all know, if you know the Gas House Gang, you know that we don't do a lot of Christmas songs because we find that Christmas only comes once about every year. And uh, because of that, you know, it's not very well, cost-effective to learn a bunch of Christmas songs. <laughs> but actually, we have started this year. We started... Thanks. We started this year... 
working on a Christmas album. So we do have some Christmas songs learned, although the Christmas album is not here this weekend because we're not finished with it. It'll probably be finished around Easter, and then at Easter time, you can buy the Christmas album. <laughs> and uh, so it would all be a lot of fun. So we're going to do a couple of songs that are going to be on that album. They're brand new to us, and uh, we hope you enjoy them, and we hope that we don't screw them up very much really? because we really don't know these songs. <laughs> Caroling, caroling, now we go, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling, through the snow, Christmas bells are ringing. Joyous voices, sweet and clear, sing the sad of heart to cheer. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, 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 caroling through the town, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling, up and down, Christmas bells are ringing. Mark you well. The song we sing, glad some tidings now we bring. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells are ringing. Caroling, 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 caroling through the town. Up and on, on and on, we're singing all the while. The bells are ringing. Ding dong, ding, the bells are ringing. Caroling, caroling near and far, Christmas bells are ringing. Following, following yonder star, Christmas bells are ringing. Sing we all this happy morn, Lord. King of heaven is born. Ding dong, ding dong, merrily now we carol along. Ding dong, ding dong, Christmas bells, Christmas bells are caroling, 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 caroling. Can't you hear the joyful sound? Up and down, caroling through the town. Hear the sound, hear the joyful sound. <laughs> Pet a pen, 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 pet a pen,
country save the day. But the raven proud and loud, hi ho, the hero of the west will show the country will be rid of boys, the lone ranger. With a mask and his gun and his engine fan, who fight for the rights of honest men, who stand for justice to the end, he's a bum 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 all laws do that he'll give them all they can They all run and hide cause they are chicken Silver is his trusty steed Rouping the past by fire and speed Partners with one solemn creed Riding with might they can never bend Truth and justice to the end Engine Tonto and the Kimosabi riding side by side, standing tall for freedom, justice, honor, truth, and pride. Silver bullet, mask, and white hat, standing tall for purity. Symbols of the hope and faith for all mankind to see. Dedication, life to saving, to saving the day. Dedication, life to saving, to saving the day. With a raven proud and loud, I hold the hero of the West will show the country will be rid of foes. Lone Ranger, with a mask and his gun and his engine, friend will fight for the rights of honest men who stand for justice to the end. He's a lone ranger. So far away to say the name. So far away. So far away, they're riding fast and hard to keep men free. With fire and speed, it is decreed. Their mighty deed, that all should heed. You better heed, they'll keep us free. man with his silver bullet, why they keep us free? Rum, 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 bum, bum, rum, 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 bum, 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 bum. Everybody sing! Thanks. Oh, oh sorry, I turned to expanded sound for a minute, didn't I? Sorry about that. <laughs> Good to see these little kids out here. I was noticing them, just bouncing around his knee. I love children, but I can't bear them. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so we're going to do one more song for you now. We hope that you enjoy this song. This song has come to mean a whole lot to us, and it's kind of a nice way to close our little portion of the program. We hope you enjoy it. I, I do want to leave you with uh, one little thought, since you've been such a nice audience. I know we've got a lot of friends out there who come back to the Christmas show year after year, and I just thought I'd leave you with this little thought that was spoken to me by my spoken to be by, by spoken to me by my grandfather shortly before he died, and I carry it with me. And now I want to pass this along to you. Uh, he looked me in the eye and said. A truck! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I still get a little bit misty, but I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> so anyway, we are going to do this song, and we do love it. It was arranged by David Wright, and it's from a musical called The Secret Garden. Uh, not one that a lot of people have seen, but the music in it is absolutely gorgeous. And we heard this song and thought, this is the perfect song. And so we asked David if he would arrange this, and he did. And we hope that you enjoy it. And we want to thank you all again for coming, and hope we'll see you again next year. And by the way, there are Guest House Gang tapes and CDs for sale out in the lobby and Expanded Sound, 12th Street Rag, Ambassadors Army. They've all got tapes and CDs out there. So get your wallets out. Start Start, you know, forking it over. <laughs> I don't think the Jim White solo CDs have come out no, not yet. yet. <laughs> we
when you see the storm is coming, see the lightning part the skies, it's too late to run, there's terror in your eyes. What you do then is remember this old thing you heard me say. Bound to go away. Always hold on, hold on, hold on to someone standing by. Hold, hold on, on, don't even ask how long it was. Child, hold on to what you know is true. Just you hold on till you get through. Yes, child or child. Pounding, fear a devil's at your door. There's no place to hide. You're frozen to the floor. What you do then is you push yourself to wake up and you say, It's this dream, not me, that's bound to go away. Always hold on, hold on. Hold on, the night will soon be by. Child, hold on, there's angels on their way. Just hold on and hear them say, yes. Child, oh child. And it doesn't even matter if the danger and the doom come from up above or down below or just come flying at you from across the room. When you see a man who's raging, He's jealous and he fears that you've walked through walls he's hid behind for years. What you do then is you tell yourself to wait it out. You say, this day, not me, is bound to go away. That's bound to go. You've got to wait it out and say the storm will blow away. There's bound to be a brighter day.
The season of Advent is one of many moods and feelings, anticipation, expectancy, and patience, all of them because we remember and acknowledge God's promise that he would save his people from their sins by sending himself unto them in the person of his only son, who, as foretold by the prophets, would be called Emmanuel. And Jesus' arrival occurred not with fanfare of great ceremony, nor proclamations of great oratory, nor attendance of mighty heads of state. He came not with kingly crown nor potentate scepter, but arrived instead in the lowliest of stables, in the meanest of surroundings, with nothing to offer save love. For the voice of God is not always heard in the tempest and the tumult, but often in that calmness and gentleness that speak directly to the human heart. Jesus was given to us all so long ago in the quiet stillness of a clear night. Amen. Yeah. 
Though the manger was Jesus' first resting place, the stable his first dwelling, and the animals his first companions, yet did the angels in heaven proclaim his coming to a band of shepherds who were tending their flocks. Though poor and uneducated, they understood and left their nocturnal duties to see for themselves this miracle wrought by God. Of all the dates that have been celebrated, this night was truly like no other. The birth of the Savior of mankind gives us an occasion beyond significant, beyond special. The coming of God into the world gives us that holiest of nights. How to acknowledge this miracle, how to declare and publish the glad tidings. Perhaps, as is so often the case, the simplest way is the best. Perhaps things of the most profound significance can best find their expression in the ancient traditions. The practice of chant and response that has been a part of worship for thousands of years would this time begin with the profound simplicity of the declaration that Mary had a baby. Mary had a baby
As God has given us the greatest of gifts, what are we to offer in thanks? All that we are would seem to be the requirement, yet we are blessed in so many different ways and degrees. Still, we must give what gifts we can, no matter how seemingly small, as perhaps a young shepherd boy might have done at that first Christmas so long, long ago. Oh, oh, oh. 
cultures and peoples the world over. Pay homage to and celebrate the holy birth, not just with drums, but with all variety of instruments, each with its special significance to that culture and that people. Sweet silver bells all seem to say, throw a kiss away. Christmas is here, bringing a cheer to young and old. Drink and the phone, ding dong, ding dong, that is the song. Ding jump and ring, call carefully. Cheers to you, you praise me, you good doers, bring me more. Praise in the song of the Lord. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Song of the same dawn without end. Whatever the instrument, whatever the melody, music finds its universality in its praise and rejoicing. For the language of the song is unique to its place. Languages have their distinct sounds, their special rhythms, their own music. Bethlehem, that storied town wherein the Christ child first appeared, takes on a whole new feeling when pronounced in a Nigerian dialect, Bethlehemu.
How great must have been the anxiety of the shepherds as they left their flocks that night. To witness a great event is a privilege few can experience, yet they had been beckoned to the stable together by news proclaimed to them by the angels. How their conversation must have gone as they were overwhelmed by the desire to know that they were not alone in their joy, the desire to share what they had seen and heard. Surely they must have asked one another, do you hear what I hear? Another time, another place. 1818, Oberndorf, near Salzburg, Austria. The organ of the little church of Oberndorf had in the last days before Christmas become unfit for further use. Mice had eaten at the bellows and this seriously troubled the parish priest, Father Josef Moore. He went to the organist and schoolmaster, Franz Gruber, and expressed his disappointment, saying, we must have something special for Midnight Mass. On the day before Christmas Eve, the father was to administer the last rites to a dying woman. It was late when he returned. Pausing on a height overlooking the town, he fell to musing. The snowy mountains loomed above him, and below in the valley, the dark outline of the village could be discerned. Here and there, a faint light glimmered in the dark, and over all was that vast stillness so peculiar to the wide open spaces of nature. Suddenly, the good man murmured, it must have been something like this, that silent holy night in Bethlehem, 
Powerfully affected, he hastened home, sat at his desk and wrote. Arising the next morning, he took up his manuscript, hastened to his friend Franz Gruber and read it to him. As soon as Franz Gruber heard the lovely words, inner voices seemed to fill his humble quarters with an angelic chorus. Indeed, he caught the true spirit of the hymn. He sang it to his wife, and in the hushed silence that followed, she said, we will die, you and I, but this song will live. And so it has for 180 years. Perhaps in the silence and darkness of this night or the nights to come, you will find that light in the darkness and be filled with a Christmas spirit. We close our program with a hymn that transcends time, that speaks to light in the midst of darkness, to wonder and to peace, silent night. So Join us in singing the first verse again. Oh. 